you can eat anything that comes from an animal. So whatever it is that you want, this is my carnivore diet, whatever it is that you want. Some months, there's been two or three months over the last year and a half as I started on January 1st. We're now, what, uh, in the middle of September. So the last year and nine months, 21 months, uh, I have had uh, three of those months that I ate all red meat and I felt great. I probably felt better eating all red meat than I did eating anything that came from an animal. And so you say, well, Jerry, then why didn't you stay with red, uh, all red meat? Because I like eggs and I like cheese and I like bacon and I like sausage and I like being successful and I like my lifestyle and I like how I feel on that lifestyle. And I feel eating all of those things 10 billion times better than I felt when I started eating all of the garbage. Now I feel better when I did all red meat, but it was incremental. And so I'm willing to eat what I call my carnivore diet, anything that comes from an animal. But I understand why people argue back that it should be red meat only, because when I do red meat only, uh, I do feel better, but I don't feel as fulfilled. I like these other foods. And so I'm going to continue to eat them. So you can eat fish and eggs and and dairy. Uh, uh, I stay away from milk, as I've said, and so I think you should too. It's full of sugar. I have it about once every month. I love a big glass of milk. When I take my eggs and my cheese, I have eight eggs for breakfast every morning, sausage and or bacon with it. Uh, I throw a bunch of hot sauce, have at the spices, fellas, as long as it doesn't have sugar in it, you can have all you want. I throw a bunch of hot sauce in those eggs uh, so it's got a little bit of heat to it and then put cheddar cheese over the top of it. And that's my breakfast by and large every morning, sometimes with cheese, sometimes without cheese, always with the hot sauce. And once a month or so, I'll fill up a big old glass of milk and put that down. But milk is full of sugar. And so I stay away from milk uh, whenever possible, which is most of the time, like I said, maybe once a month, maybe once every couple of months, I forget. I get out of the habit so much because food does not control me, uh, that I don't think about it. And a couple of months go by and I'm like, ah, I think I'll have a nice glass of, you know, whole milk or 2% milk at a minimum. Um, if you can get raw milk, that's the best. I personally, I don't like it. So I like whole meal, whole, whole milk or 2% milk. Um, and so you know, any kind of fats, uh, butter, olive oil, if you wish, uh, avocado oil, if you want to, uh, ghee for sure. That's great for cooking. Um, all of those that you can tallow, a beef tallow in particular, all of those you can have, you can eat, uh, you can cook with, um, hamburger. That's my favorite 80, 20 hamburger cheese on top of the big old couple of thick cut pieces of bacon, have at it, man, it's so good. And water. Water is the critical ingredient, I think, in the diet, the lifestyle is water. 